Oh yes, we so need to clean the fridge. Okay. everyone it's Kelly how are you I'm the frugal fun mum here in Adelaide Australia and I want to welcome you to the channel and to today's video where we are going to clean out the fridge it is much overdue I know right <laughs> and we desperately need to get this done because coming November we have a new challenge that's coming up so I want to clean out the fridge get it back to basics and then we can move on with our new food challenge so let's go So a quick tour of our fridge. Up the top we have all our butter. This is where our milks go and milk and juice. More milk and juice and any um, condiments and any other drinks and things like that. The top shelf is usually just, yeah, dumping whatever. Uh, and then same with this shelf as well. It's usually where the eggs do stay and I sort of put hubby's luncheon sort of food in this area this is brand new the shelf so we'll see if it's going to stay here or not but i put cream in this section and then i keep it all together and i know it's there this is our cheese drawer so everything in here from normal cheese to cream cheese spreadable cheese etc and then i know that's all in here as cheese this drawer is usually a whatever excuse the beeping um, again, just a bit of a storage. See, there's cream here that probably really should be up there, but and another storage storage shelf, and then our two drawers that we have veggies and fruit in there. They don't get used as often as what they probably should do, and I know it's a mess, but our fridge in general is pretty basic compared to what a lot of people have in their fridge. We don't tend to have a lot of condiments in there. We keep our sauce in the cupboard. And yeah, so we just need to clean and the fridge will keep beeping at me. So let's go. We're going to empty it out and then we're going to clean it out. Our empty fridge with all of our dirty shelves I have no idea what is on some of them it was like something dried out and it's now all like gritty if that makes any sense at all yeah so we need to pull this apart and then we can wipe everything off wash everything and then put it back I spent about a minute trying to figure out if this shelf bit comes off and it seemed to move a little bit and then not move so I just gave up in the end and figured it can stay there it doesn't really get too dirty compared to everything else anyway gave it a bit of a vacuum because you know that's what all the other mums are doing on YouTube and sprayed it with some antibacterial got my scrub mommy and I'm just going to go in there and give it a scrub over. A bit later I went in with some hot soapy water because as you can see here <laughs> we have some really grubby spots so just did a different scrub mummy for a few areas to see how well that would go. Then made up a small bowl of hot water and dishwashing liquid with my toothbrush to get really get into a lot of the nitty gritty bits and it lifted away so easily I was like hooray wipe it over with a microfiber cloth and it is clean so now we just have to do that for the rest of the fridge let's go I couldn't forget the door handle while I was here. While it's not quite the inside of the fridge, I swear it gets just as dirty as the rest of it. And you know, I grab it all the time with very mucky hands when I'm cooking and baking. So yes, and it gets wiped over, but I just wanted to give it a really good scrub. 
on to actually cleaning all of the shelves and drawers and everything else and I really wish I had a bigger sink because this just takes forever and of course my top is absolutely saturated by the end of it. Some stuff was harder to scrub off than others and I saw that there's gaps in between bits and pieces and things have leaked everywhere so oh, some of it was really hard to clean but I've done as good as I job with the time that I had. So yeah, now just trying to figure out everything that goes in here and I'm going to have to look back over the video because I am completely lost of to what's going. And then we're going to put all the food and stuff back in the fridge to see how we go. Just a quick scrub and wipe down of this area for now, but I'll come back to it and clean it better later. Okay, so here's what's um, left over. I broke up the lettuce and put it in a container, the bits that were okay. Put the pineapple in a container. I'm going to throw out this garlic paste. I bought it to make garlic bread like everybody else is doing on YouTube and we do not like the taste so I would rather pay the money to buy the garlic butter that I get from Woolworths and then I know that we're happy. Um, this is a jam that we got picked up or given to but I'm going to throw it out because it's been in there for a while and I made some caramel sauce for a recipe but it's had its day now and same with the lemon curd whoop yep <laughs> um, and this container just keeps falling apart so that's gonna go and this kimchi is gonna go so this is a massive container it costs seven dollars fifty which is what I would pay for the jar that's probably a bit just a bit bigger than this probably about that high um, from Coles when it's on special and Kira's eaten half so she's easily eaten that normal size jar that I'd get in a half so I'm going to chuck the rest of this out because um, it needs to go so that is it <sighs> well that is one job done I've been putting off for a super long time so it's pretty basic as you can see I'm not quite sure that I've put some of the shelves back where they were so I'll have to look back through the video but overall it's pretty pretty sparse our fridge is probably a bit bigger than what I need but at least I've got space if I do baking and things like that I can use that um, for space and when I buy a lot of the markdown meats it can at least sit in there for the day until I break it down at night and then put it in the freezer so either way I'm happy some of the drawers are a bit harder to clean because they've got that face on them that's clipped in I'm probably not making any sense so you can see where some of the liquid has run down and I try to get it out but and I thought as much as I was trying to pull it I kept hearing crack crack and I thought I'm not going to pull this apart anymore because if I break it that'll be the end of it and this fridge is like at least 15 years old we've been in this house about 16 years and we got it once we got into the house <clears throat> and they don't make the parts for it anymore because when I tried to get that bit for the freezer uh, that's it's not around anywhere and I've tried secondhand places and things like that too so yes but anyway that is cleaning the fridge it's always a lot of work because it's all the little nitty-gritty things but I've got in there with a toothbrush so I'm pretty happy with what is there I need to wipe out the freezer that's pretty much clean it's just some of the dust and like icy stuff on the bottom so I'll wipe that out and then that will all be done and yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below because it helps the YouTube algorithm to send this out to other people who like to watch people like me cleaning and go, thank God that's not me. <laughs> and please don't ask me to come and clean your fridge because it's probably one cleaning job I don't enjoy. I'll clean your toilet, but I don't really want to clean your fridge, especially when I don't know how to get all the shelves and stuff back in there. What a nightmare. <laughs> I swear it's never the same after that it was before. So I need to take better before and after photos, I think, yeah. So as always, I look forward to seeing you next time. Please subscribe if you're not already and see you later. Bye.